Here, here, the message is here. From our father dear, loud and clear. The, the J-Vaxxer at, at work. work. Business Wisdom from Bugs The Spider Proverbs chapter 30, verse 28 The spider is skillfully grasped with its hands, and it is in king's palaces. There are a few common everyday creatures that bring as much terror to the hearts of people than spiders. But God created the spider, and in this passage, the spider is given to us as an example of wisdom at work. If you study spider behavior patterns, you will discover that many spiders get into homes when they are young. For example, when you leave your porch light on at night, it attracts moths and other bugs. The bugs attract spiders. The bugs die, and the spiders feed on them, and they breed. The newly hatched spiders are so tiny that they can enter your home through nearby screens and cracks around loose-fitting doors and windows. Some employees expect instant promotions. They may not take the job opportunities or projects they consider to be too trite, insignificant, or demeaning based on their talents, education, and career goals. But, like the spider in the king's palace, Sometimes, God wants you to take the seemingly insignificant, low-level job or project. The scriptures tell us that if we can be trusted with little, we can be trusted with much. Years ago, I had a boss who started at the company as a shipping clerk and retired as CEO and chairman of the board. He was like the spider, entering the company through a little crack and working his way to the executive suite. Are you willing and content to work your way up the corporate ladder from the bottom up? Are you willing to take on projects that nobody else wants? Be alert to the prompting of the Holy Spirit. Seemingly insignificant opportunities may be what God wants to use to teach you humility, patience, faithfulness, and perseverance. One day, like the spider in the king's palace, he may confound the wise and place you at the top. Now before we go, let us consider these questions below. First, have you ever felt discouraged because of some seemingly insignificant work? How did you adjust your mindset to face those tasks? Second, have you had any experience in your career where you achieve success through humility, patience, and faithfulness. Third, are you willing to work your way up the corporate ladder from the bottom up step by step? What significance do you think this has for your career development? The program is proudly presented by Global Reach Out. We welcome you to share our live enriching webcasts with family and friends through our website, global-reachout.org. Let's reach out to bless more lives together.